If you're headed to Disney during Halloween time, you can whip up these cute pumpkin Mickey shirts in no time with this free print and cut file. The thing to do is to open up Cricut Design Space and start a new project. Click on Upload Image. Uh, we are going to browse and drag in our Mickey Pumpkin PNG. We're going to hit complex, even though it's not really that complex of an image since it's just cutting around some circles. But make sure that you have a transparent background and then click Continue. This would be the part where you could select and erase any of the parts that you don't want in, but like I said, it's on a transparent background, so we should be good. If you have a white background, then you'd click right here and erase that whiteness. We want to save it as a print, then cut image. And once it's uploaded, we can click on it again in our library and insert it onto our canvas. Once it's open, we can adjust the size. And what I do is I just get out the t-shirt that I'm going to be ironing it onto and check the width. So I know that for my daughter's t-shirt, um, she's seven, I want this the widest part which is the ears the length of the ears to be seven inches so I'm going to adjust that to fit in this corner here we'll line it up and I want it to be about seven inches it doesn't have to be exact but I know that if it's wider than that it's going to be too big and then click make it I forgot. The print and cut sizing is for the width it's six and six and three quarters, so six point seven five. So just make sure that, that says six point seven five or less. Then click make it, then we should be okay. Perfect. Now I am going to click continue. And I've already loaded into my printer the printable iron-on sheets from Cricut. And we're going to send it to our printer. Print. Now, if you were going to do an adult size shirt and you wanted it to be wider, say you wanted it to be eight or nine inches wide, you could still print it, well, it has to print on the size of the printable iron-on, so it could not be any wider than eight and a half because that's the width of our paper. Um, but if you do want it larger than the width of 6.75 inches, you can print it and just cut it out by hand with scissors. Okay, it's connected to the printer when we're going to print that. Um, I set my material dial to um, custom because I want to choose um, the type of material that we're going to cut here. I'm going to click on view all and go down here to iron on and it's printable iron on. I have for dark fabrics but it should be fine for a white t-shirt or whatever. And then printable iron on dark. So now my machine is cut to um, set to cut the correct material. Just waiting for my um, print to come through my printer. Once it's printed, I place it on my mat, as shown in this diagram up here in the corner. And I ended up using my strong grip mat. The backing on that had a hard time 
sticking to the normal mat, so I ended up using my strong grip mat. And I load it into the machine, and I click the go button on my machine. It looks like the little cricket with the, or the sea with the little antennas. It is going to read the registration marks, which are these black marks around the print. And once it reads those and lines everything up, then it is going to cut out our Mickey pumpkin. Once it's done, I can unload it from the machine and peel it off and then I can iron it on.